Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Wet and Wear Flow. And this week we talk about how to create a reactive text effect within your Webflow project. Let's jump into it. So before we jump into this tutorial, I first want to show you where I initially saw this project. So I initially saw this project at superhigh.com and the title of this tutorial is how to make reactive type as seen on the Airbnb serial site. And this really caught my attention mainly because of this the cool and standout nature of this effect. As you can see on the tutorial site, as you hover over uh, the font, they have this magnifying effect as you get close, e even closer to a letter. So it, as you scroll through, you have this really cool magnifying effect on the font. Now let's jump in to our Webflow project to see how we can implement it. So we're in our Webflow project and we're going to first talk about the structure of our project. Then we're going to talk about how to implement the custom code into our project. Then we're going to talk about customizing the custom code to get different effects and features. So first, in our project, there are some styles on the body. On the body, to create styles on the body, you will first create the, uh, select the selector and then select the body tag. And you'll notice that there is a 100 BH min height and we also have the font type as well as the font weight, which I've set to 100, the font color of white, the font size of 40 pixels and the line height of one, and then the color, the background color of 111118. And then we jump into the letters and how they were created in our project. So the letters are contained within a regular container. So just go over to your elements, grab a container element and drag it into your project. I've named this container L container and the settings on this container are flex settings and I have it set for horizontal and I want them centered and to have them uh, not go straight across the page we must enable wrap children so we enable wrap children and this is also helpful when you resize our project on smaller devices it will make sure that as we'll see that the children wrap through and don't go all the way off the page, which is really cool. Hopefully you're taking advantage of flex. And that is all for this element. Then we jump into our letters. So each letter is contained within a div, as you can see here, and then there's a text box within that. So all I did was grab a div block and then put a text box inside. So let's take a look at the styles of our text, our C letter style for the text block. So in this div, I have some padding of two rim all the way around. And I have a transition and we'll talk more about this transition as this provides some uh, different effects for this custom code. And then lastly, I added the text block within our div. And then after that, I just copied this one div element all the way across and changed the letters within it. So I just copied all the way across and changed the letters within it and you can spell whatever you like. All right, so we talked about the structure. Now let's talk about how to implement the custom code. So if you go to the tutorial site and you right click, you'll notice that you can inspect this site. And if you go to the sources, you'll find that there is a hover.js file. And this JS file is where we'll find the script that creates this effect. So all I did was uh, 
copy this script, jumped into my Webflow project, went to my custom code tab, created a script tag, and then placed my custom code right in the middle of it. So as you can see, there's something that we have to update so that this works for our project. But before we do that, let's see what happens when we just throw it in there. So as you can see, it completely makes everything very small. And this is because the custom code is selecting the div. So it's making the div, it's every div small on a mouse hover or mouse move. So what we need to do is instead of each div, we need to select the class name that contains the letter. And that is dot C dash letter. Now let's take a look at our project. Nice. So now we get the effect where it uh, customizes or it, it affects rather our le each letter. So it affects each letter now. Alrighty, so we talked about the structure of our Webflow project. We talked about how to implement the custom code. Now let's take a look at some of the features that we can add into our custom code. So we'll, we'll talk about how this is occurring. So this is occurring by the transform as well as the font weight. And the transform is being uh, manipulated by this awesome math equation here that the tutorial at uh, Super High delves deeper into, but he, we're just going to talk about how to get different effects with it. So a smaller number, you'll notice that a smaller number will have a less drastic effect. So let's change it to 0 0.001. We'll publish and then refresh. So as you can see here, the effect is less drastic. The font almost looks as if there's very little occurring, but you can see it occurring. Now let's make this much larger. And you'll notice that we now have this really cool magnified effect. And let's jump back into the designer to take a look at the transition that we implemented. So this transition was implemented so that we get this zoom effect that kind of eases in. And so that's why the transition is added on the element titled C dash letter, and you can change it to your liking. So hopefully this was helpful. Let's have a proper goodbye. Pretty cool. So today we learned how to create a reactive text effect within our Webflow project. In the description below, you'll find the link to the super high tutorial, as well as the link to the live site and the read only link of our Webflow project. So, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And just an update, uh, we're going to continue creating videos, but at a pace of one video a week, uh, whether it's a button workflow or a made for Monday video. Hopefully these videos are helpful, and if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get to you. Have a great one.